Hi everyone, this is Willy. Today I'm with Leonica from Leonica K Trichology. Recently, with the outbreak of COVID-19 in Singapore, hand sanitizers have become a scarce commodity. In most supermarkets and pharmacies, hand sanitizers are sold out. Leonica K Trichology uses its own brand of hand sanitizers with pharmaceutical grade disinfecting alcohol in their daily practice. With the shortage situation, Leonica K Trichology started producing more of its hand sanitizers, which were sold at a very affordable price of $3 for a 30ml bottle. This was helpful to many who were in desperate need of hand sanitizers. As of today, you can still get this hand sanitizer at just $3 for purchase over the counter at their outlet at Palais Renaissance. Leonica, thank you for your time today. Uh, we have a few questions for you. Uh, perhaps you can share what made you want to produce more of these hand sanitizers for the general public? Okay, um, maybe I can just elaborate a little bit. Like, uh, we didn't produce these hand sanitizers just because of the COVID-19. We have the hand sanitizer already in our own range of the lifestyle product mm. that we use on a daily basis. And then when we realized in late January that there's a sudden shortage of uh, hand sanitizer in the market, we find that it is probably our kind of like duty to share this with people. So we decided to say, okay, let's just sell it at very, very affordable price. Yeah, so um, once the message got out, we received so much of uh, interest and uh, people calling us and um, placing order and we were like uh, quite overwhelmed by the response because we were never geared to be like you know such a big demand but we also feel good in the sense that we're able to help yeah so then we started to source around for more ingredients and then started to produce like lots and lots of the hand sanitizers yeah uh, so what are the challenges that you face when you started uh, this initiative or even until now is still ongoing right so what are the challenges you have faced so far i can help you <laughs> uh challenges you mean like producing the product or um uh, from from producing to to uh you know uh, distributing the okay. this 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 yeah. this whole process uh. okay yeah the initially when the order was really so overwhelming we were finding ourselves um, having to answer queries and also concerns that whether the hand sanitizer uh, is of the certain quality that can actually help to fight germs and all that. So, so we um, managed to address that issues. Then subsequently, we find that we are running low in our stock. And then we will have to especially that time uh, when the, most of the supply chain got disrupted. So we still can produce, but we don't have the bottles. And everybody cannot find any bottles anymore. Seriously, it's like um, uh, we, we call other suppliers from up overseas and, and there are always something that is like a uh, shortage. If not the bottle, then it's the pump because we do a gel base. So it has to come with the pump. So we will at one point, have to tell the customer, they say, I'm so sorry, I can't. You want 50, I can give you 10. You want 100, I can only give you 50. And uh, we, we, we feel very difficult in the sense of like, they, they keep saying, no, I have a big family, I've got friends to give, and I'm having this function that I really need everybody to feel safe. So we, we are in a situation that we find tough as well. But um, I think some of the most of the people, they are quite understanding. So we even have to go to a point of like getting people to fill in the form in, in, in the Google form. Mm. So that when we look at our stock to say, okay, we only have say maybe 1,000, but we have maybe 5,000 requests, then we have to ra ration with everybody, say, okay, I can only give you 10. Otherwise, I cannot give to the other people. So we, we have to do that. But I think they, they were quite, people were quite nice. It's, they are quite understanding. They say, okay, I mean, no choice. Lah. Just got to do that. And then what we also do is that then we, we produce in a large a bottle. Because mm. we, we started with the 30 mil. And then after that, we tell them we don't have bottle. So what we do is we produce a bigger one. So you use this bottle to refill. Mm. So that at least you still can have the hand sanitizer, but 
then uh, there's no problem with the bottles anymore. Lah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I mean, what you're, you're kind of like doing whatever you have to work with yes. and just uh, making yeah, sure as many people can get hold yes. of the sanitizers, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so you said the response, uh, like how the response from, from your customers or your friends uh, feedback to you so, uh, so far? Uh, feedback has been very, very good. And uh, something that they also realized is that there was this customer, she said to me that her husband is using another uh, type of hand sanitizer, maybe more the liquid water kind of water base. And then she realized the husband's skin were peeling because it's too dry. Mm. So she told the husband, okay, la, you cannot save money in this period of time. La. So she returned to buy more for the husband to use. So maybe in, in, in comparison, maybe the uh, our pricing is still more expensive than maybe some other uh, brand. But the reason for us is because we put in a lot of moisturizer and we make sure the grades of the alcohol it's a what we call the pharmaceutical grade. That means usually they are used in hospital, and that we put in the essential oil, which have uh, added advantage. And at the same time, it's more pleasant to use. Yeah. So the 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 the, the concern is most most of us will not realize is like we, we are encouraged to keep washing, yes. but it may it might lead to dryness yes. and you know the skin. And that can lead to that can lead to skin problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, 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 okay, um, but how has the COVID-19 situation, right, changed the way you operate your business? Um, I guess we are still learning. Say we uh, have to be a bit more um, careful with the distance, which actually we are already observing it. Lah, because if you look at the setup, you know, uh, we space up each uh, station quite, quite wide. So with regards to the social distancing, uh, distancing kind of thing, it's not a problem. And we will also say if we feel um, uh, needed, we will wear face masks. Um, sanitizing the place has always been our practice, the daily practice anyway. So that, that hasn't really changed. Um, only thing is that we noticed that the hand sanitizer at the counter, uh, there are a lot more used now because customers will automatically go and pump some hand sanitizer. But in the past, it's like, uh, nobody just everybody just walk past uh. so um, they are we are probably maybe stepping up as well as like maybe taking temperature and and uh, luckily for us is most of our clients come here they are from I mean they are all regular clients and they are I find people are quite responsible if they do kind of like travel recently they will try and abstain from coming out and all that so we find for ourselves uh, it's not so much of the challenging, just uh, adding maybe some precautionary, yeah. Okay, so, but uh, how has this COVID-19 situation affected the business performance side? Uh, yeah, you, you do feel that people are coming out lesser, so you do feel that the, the flow is slow, slowing down. Um, we were quite lucky in the sense of like during the earlier part of the uh, January, I mean in late January, when we started doing this, uh, uh, selling this hand sanitizer time, a lot of people got to know us and then they become our clients, which is very nice. So in, in, in a way, we feel very uh, grateful that uh, our small little efforts has actually given us in return a lot of like new clients that, that appreciate our efforts and they started to be our clients. Okay, so yeah, it's like in any situation, you try to again make the best out of it, right? Right. Yeah. So, um, can you share with our viewers, right? What services does Leonica K Trichology provide? Okay, we've been in uh, trichology for the past 20 over years. Um, so, we specialize on the hand and scalp treatment. So, basically, uh, most of the people who come, us, uh, come to see us, they have issues with their hair. Uh, or scalp, say they have oily scalp or they have uh, irritation on the scalp or they have, um, most of them do face a certain amount of hair loss problem. So uh, eh, recently we do a lot of uh, cases where the young mother when they give birth to baby, so it's called the postpartum hair loss. 
Yeah. So this issue is actually quite quite a bit, and some people they don't really know that they can actually come and get the hair treated for uh, reducing the hair loss and and promoting hair growth. Yeah. So this is where we we specialize. Yeah. Okay. So usually, uh, what what uh, what kind of you're saying the hair. Uh, oily scalp, right? Yes. It's like uh, it relates more to women, men, or any any profile of the, you know, what kind of customers do you usually get? What kind of problems in in like just now you mentioned, uh, mom who just gave birth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that is that is also something that I think a lot of viewers will not realize. Yeah. So um, what what's the general profile of the customers that you you have here? Uh. We have about 70% female and 30% male. Uh, we see the trend of uh, the age group getting younger. Maybe people are more aware mm. and they, they feel that they want to do something about it rather than waiting uh, wait till much later. Um, most of the younger people, they are more kind of like they will inquire and then maybe they will start with like some uh, use of the shampoo and, and lotion first and then uh, only where there are certain like more severe cases then they will start doing treatment in our center lah. for guys uh, usually it's the scalp irritation problem um, it's quite common to have uh, scalp inflammation and like pimples dandruff for men because they are um, sebaceous gland oil gland are uh, kind of larger and more than a female. So they will always, if you see people buying uh, anti-dandruff shampoo from the supermarket, you see probably maybe 70% or 80% are male. Yeah. So we do have people who come here seeking uh, treatment for um, a scalp problem. And uh, we do also have uh, clients who seek treatment for their male pattern models. So, uh, can you share with us your experience in this field and the history of Leonica K Trichology? Like how, uh, uh, you know, how you got all this started from day one? <laughs> okay, um, it was also like a, probably like a long story really. It's like, I think most of the people also, when you graduate, you don't know what you want to do. Or you try and then you realize that this is not for you. So for me, the same thing, I graduated and then I realized that the, the uh, first thing is I was from a Chinese education background. So from up to my uh, all levels, I was still educated mainly in Chinese. And I really feel there's a need to better my English. So when I had a chance after working for a certain period of time, I went to England to study. So after that, then I at, during that period of time, the, the era of the hairdressing was like very, very, it's a booming kind of like market. Vida Sassoon, Tony and Guys, that period. So then I went into, uh, instead of doing the MBA in business study, I got convinced to say, hey, it's better to pick up a skill. So actually I went into doing hairdressing and learned uh, the skill of hairdressing. Then when I came back to Singapore, I realized that Desk bound job is really something that doesn't really uh, sort of like uh, inspire me. So I went into working for a company uh, in hairdressing, but more like a trainer. Mm. So I train hairdresser what to do with their chemical, like how long they have to leave this thing on and how long they have to, um, to correct the method mm. of, of using the mm. product. And then after a certain period of time, I realized that there's a need for scalp problem. Mm. But the general um, over, the mark, uh, over the counter products doesn't seem to be helping to solve the problem. So I went back to England again because I knew they have this course called uh, Institute of Trichologists that conduct mm. a course. Uh, the reason of uh, going back there is because I wanted a very neutral background or uh, institution to tell me whether this condition can be treated or cannot be treated. I want an answer mm -hmm. so that then I can decide, okay, because if I'm working for a company that produces product, it's very biased. Yeah, yeah you always tell, say your things is the best kind of thing. Lah. So then I went back and then I studied and then after that, then I came back to Singapore to start the, the trichology practice 
1997. And then I brought in a franchise brand and I've been using the franchise brand for like maybe 10, 15 years. After that, I feel that, okay, it's about time I do my own because then I can control and I can say, okay, this is not working so well, can I do something about it? Or there's a certain, like, say, uh, requirement on a certain other thing that, you know, I can make, make it more effective and looking at maybe equipment or ingredients or anything else that can actually really incorporate to really de deliver better results kind of thing. Mm. So this is how we started. So uh, about five years ago, we went into the R&D. So we have our own brand of product called Leonica K now. Then that is also the time when we started to branch into the lifestyle product. So we have not just the shampoo for dandruff, but we also have shampoo for baby. Mm. We also have shampoo for eczema scalp, which is, I hear a lot of demands from, from um, uh, people who are around us. Mm. Then we also went into the hand sanitizer because we, we are using it ourselves. So we feel there's a need to produce something that is uh, less drying and, and friendlier for the skin. So mm. you don't just kill germs, but you don't, uh, damage your skin as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, with that, could you show us around the, uh, your outlet at sure. this Palais Renaissance? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, Leonica. So uh, what are you uh, introducing to us here? Okay. So you can see all the colorful products. These mm. are the main products that we use to treat our clients with um, hair loss problem, mm. uh, sensitive scalp. Um, uh, dry hair, oily scalp, you know, the black bottle and then some uh, serum. And then, so this side, this will be our, the lifestyle product. So like mm. you can see here, these are the hand sanitizers. And we also like to be point out that um, uh, according to all the research, the hand wash mm. is still a more efficient way of getting yeah. rid of all the uh, bacteria and viruses. Compared to the sanitizer, Compared, the hand yes. wash is still, still yeah. more effective, right? Yes, all right, yeah. Then we also have our range of like, uh, you can see here, there's mm. this dog shampoo. And the dog shampoo is oh. very, very mild for uh, dog to use because dog skins are very, very sensitive. Mm. So we managed to come up with a product that, um, same thing, you know, we, put, we always like to use a lot of essential oil because they have got very interesting property mm. and they give a very natural, uh, nice scent so that, you know, when you're using product, it, it doesn't just feel good, but it smells good as well. Yeah. So we have um, this uh, body wash, which is very good for people who has got very sensitive skin, dry skin or eczema skin. Mm. So because this uh, doesn't strip off the um, natural oil, plants, it contains uh, ingredients like oats and oats are very known to have multivitamins uh, and uh, uh, benefits for the body. Mm. Okay. And then I actually do this and I give it to my mom. She's in her 80s and she always complains of very dry skin mm. and then she has to go and see the dermatologist one in every six months because the skin start to get very dry and then she get like all the very bad rashes. So she was telling me she's been using it for two years now and she hasn't been seeing her dermatology, so you know, happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Then we have like products like this swim swim cream here for people who are who like to go swimming, mm. but with swimming you know your hair get very dry. So this cream you can use it on your hair to protect uh, from chlorine, from sun and after swimming your hair is still in good condition. So these are the kind of like products that we produce. I see. So uh, maybe we can do a assessment for myself. Mm. Is it possible? Because yeah. I, I myself experience like I, I would say sensitive sensitive scalp sometimes. Okay. Sometimes I get like pimples here and there. But okay. Uh, right now is is still quite okay. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but you can take a look. Uh. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Come. Let's go. Okay. 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 So, um, yeah, I can see there's some redness on your scalp. Huh? When was your last time you wash your hair? Yesterday night. Okay, so you usually wash like daily basis? Ah? Yes. Okay. Um, do you use any, uh, what do you use? Shampoo? Um, yeah, I use shampoo like, like this brand called Medi Look. Okay. Uh, Does it give like, I mean, is it specifically for... It's supposed to be good for sensitive uh, mm. scalp. But okay. just a couple of days back, I did some dyeing of my hair. Uh -huh. So... Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, 
uh, yeah, I can see the skin is actually in between there's some um, redness. Uh. Uh. So this is what we call inflammation and also a bit uh, scabby, meaning that probably the skin is, whether you scratch it or something, you know, the mm. skin is a bit open and then it's healing kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, and, and also inside here, there are also like some uh, redness and all that. Yeah. Mm. Um, Colouring sometimes can aggravate the skin. And uh, but if you use the right kind of like shampoo and then maybe on top of that we usually recommend a scalp tonic. Mm. Okay. If you use the correct one, you should be able to feel that the condition will be under control. Lah. Yeah. So what what is important with the shampoo, the ingredient is has to be able to help to reduce the inflammation and okay. antibacterial. Um so it's uh, the the redness basically is that the body way of telling you that there is um, it's uh, some imbalance uh. mm. yeah so uh, if you use the right shampoo it should be within two weeks or so you should already see some kind of like change uh. mm. yeah so if the if the same thing that you're using is not uh, uh, improving the, problem, the situation yeah then you probably need to really like look for another mm. yeah shampoo uh. Yeah. yeah, and scalp toning is also uh, preferred because the scalp uh, uh, tonic will sit onto the skin for a longer period of time, so that then the active ingredient can work longer. So how 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 often should I apply this tonic, and and every when time, what time? Every time after you wash your hair. So oh, after okay. you wash your hair, um, you might want to use conditioner because your hair is coloured and be dry lah. Yeah. So you can or you you don't have to conditioner is not so important. Then after that, towel dry, then you want to apply this uh, scalp tonic on your scalp. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, after can show washing. You some products. Ah, yes, yes, please. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So basically, mm. this kind of like shampoo we recommend. It's a. Uh, oh. Anti inflammation. Yeah, anti inflammation. So this product is. Uh, it contains what we call juniper. Uh, juniper is like a plant and the uh, active ingredient, I mean the, the way it works is it really helps to soothe the scalp mm. and uh, reduce inflammation. So after using probably a week, you can already feel that the scalp is less uh, inflamed and all the pimples will start to kind of dry up. Yeah. yeah. So the shampoo, it's mild. To be able to use that every day or even twice a day, no problem. Mm. Yeah. Then this is the what we call the Sus uh, tonic. And this is puritus. Yeah, uh, antipuritic. So it's anti itching. Okay. Because usually the inflammation and the, the uh, then not the dandruff, the, the pimples will give you some itching. So this uh, product has got camphor and um, it also um, has got the antibacterial. Uh, ingredient. So, what uh, the good thing is when you use this, it's almost like water. You don't feel there's a layer of uh, mm. something else that is kind of like uh, stay on the scalp because our weather here and yeah. the way we function, we like it to be very clean on the scalp. So if I go out in the morning, I'll, after wash hair, I can just apply yes. and just leave it. Yeah. Yeah. Then you can style your hair as usual. Okay. Put gel, put things like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, how about like in terms of hair loss? Mm. My hairdresser did mention mm. I have some hair loss in the in yes. the top. Yes. Yes. So around here. So, uh, yeah. I mean, is there like some kind of yeah some kind of treatment yeah. or usually they are always uh, concerned because uh, hair is something that the body doesn't really pay attention to okay. because hair is a non-essential tissue. Okay. So it's the Not first, essential. yeah. So it's the first uh, part to deteriorate. Okay. It's okay. It's the last to benefit. So if mm. you notice during your stressful period, you always feel your hair fall tend to be heavy. Mm -hmm. You don't sleep well. If you say you have a fever or something, you feel your hair very limp. You know, scalp very oily. Mm -hmm. So it is generally about the hair is a, like a barometer. The body shows sign no, 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 something mm. is not right, lah. Yeah, and then also because the hair, when it falls out, it doesn't necessarily grow back the same thickness as we age. Huh? Oh. It will start to grow smaller. So the diameter of the hair can reduce. 
so that is why you start to feel a certain part of your hair not as thick as last time ya and then for men (uh) the (uh) crown area sometime the frontal and the forehead area they are very sensitive to all this (uh) stress [lah] hormone change as well and you know the male pattern baldness as well so these are the concerns so usually it's good to start using the right shampoo to address the scalp condition first once let's say your inflammation and (uh) (um) the pimple issue kind of like settle then you can switch to a different shampoo more for promoting circulation and also promoting hair growth ya so there are different types of like (uh) tonic for different functions ya so mine is not really the serious severe kind right ya it's not (uh) severe because you can still kind of like I mean your hairline still looking quite okay you know your for now ah ya but there is a sign that this part the hair is not as thick lah okay ya so it's prob it's it's always good to address it early anyway because you know you don't really want to have a big problem then you start uh treating so for this area I really have to come in and then put in hours of time here or not necessarily it depends on the choice and preference of course when if you are looking for like a drastic change or reversal of the condition um then we definitely recommend that you come here for the treatment so that we can help to maybe like really boost the hair um to change and then the to reverse the density mm. but if, like most people would say you know time is a concern budget is also a concern and and uh, and really the uh, the the frequency as well lah. so then what they will always start with will be the shampoo and then the scalp tonic right yeah okay check this out yeah so uh yeah so it was a very good uh, and informative experience with leonica today uh we really want to thank her on all the people who benefited from her initiative uh you know from not just washing and keeping your hands clean but washing it and and moisturizing it at the same time making sure you can wash uh, often and not over drying your your hands so um yeah right here we want to thank you for your time again and for your initiative and uh, yeah, we would we would really be very interested to find out more of your services. Uh, your sharing today has been very 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 uh, helpful for someone like me especially. Yeah, uh, and we also have friends who have also their own scalp problems. We will definitely want to inform them about it. Yeah, sure, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. We will still like to keep our hand sanitizer uh, at this period of time at this affordable price. Yeah. No, that's that's really really uh, kind of Leonica again. Yeah. So uh, if you are watching this, you know, if you if you are uh, having you know shortage of hand sanitizers, sanitizers, you know where to get them today, right now. Don't wait. Come to Leonica K uh, and get your sanitizers. Okay. See you. Bye.